Hello beautiful viewers, how are you all? In today's video we will discuss about the pre-cum and pregnancy, yes you hear it right. Can pre-cum get you pregnant? If you are experimenting with intimacy or exploring your sexuality, then a number of questions might be bothering you. One question that many teens are asking these days is what the chances of getting pregnant from pre-cum are? That's what we are going to explore today. Let's find out. What is pre-cum? Colloquially called pre-cum, the pre-ejaculatory fluid is also known as pre-ejaculate, pre-seminal fluid and cowper's fluid. It is a clear fluid noticed at the tip of the male genitalia during erection. The pre-ejaculate is released by cowper's glands that are found along the male urinary or reproductive tract. The function of the fluid is to offer protection to the sperm and neutralize the acidic environment of the urethra. Can you get pregnant through pre-cum? The pre-seminal fluid does not contain any sperm cells, which means that the fluid in itself cannot get you pregnant. However, this is not to say that pre-cum can never lead to pregnancy. In some cases, when the sperm from a previous ejaculation is left behind, the pre-seminal fluid can carry it to the tip of the penis and help transfer it to your partner's body. A study conducted in 2011 on 27 pre-ejaculate samples found 11 of those to be containing semen. 10 of those samples were observed to have been carrying a significant amount of modal sperm. Another study suggested that it also varies from individual to individual. While the pre-ejaculatory fluid may always contain semen in some men, it may never be found in the case of others. It has been found that urinating after an ejaculation can wash away the semen that could be left behind in the urinary tract. Otherwise, the sperm cells can survive in the urethra or at the tip of the male reproductive organ for a long time and remain modal. One thing you should never forget is that the pre-ejaculate fluid can carry a range of sexually transmitted diseases STDs, and sexually transmitted infections STIs. therefore, it is always a better to use protection whenever engaging in sexual activities with an uncommitted partner. Was the video helpful? Did you find all the information you were looking for? We love to hear from you so do not hesitate from sharing your thoughts about the topic with us through your comments below. If you like this video then please hit the like button and share it on social media with your friends. Subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, take care.